What's up, y'all? It's Luke Thomas and Y here from Twitch and YouTube, and I am here today with another unboxing video. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Netgear AC1200 high gain Wi Fi USB adapter. Now, this is a Wi Fi USB adapter that's compatible with 3.0, USB 3.0 instead of USB 2.0 to give you some additional reliability and speed. I've been having issues with my current AC Wi-Fi adapter. I don't know what brand it is. It's the one that came with my desktop computer. It didn't have built-in Wi-Fi on the motherboard. And instead of using a Wi-Fi card, an internal Wi-Fi card, they use a USB Wi-Fi card. So I figured to upgrade, the best thing to do is just go to my local electronics store and pick up a new Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, talk about what's in the box, the contents of the box, the way everything's packaged up here. And um, I'm not expecting anything too crazy, um, just like, you know, real basic, but let's give it a go. So the box folds open from the bottom, it looks like. It's one of the newfangled boxes. Uh, All right, so looks like there is an installation guide inside of the box here. This is the first thing that you see right at the top is step-by-step -step instructions on how to install, which is nice because a lot of stuff like this doesn't come with any, any sort of like paper Followable instructions anymore nowadays, so that's really cool. Uh, this looks like a wa warranty card. I can't really tell. Just a declaration of conformity. I think that might just be an FCC compliance card more than anything. I'm not really, not really 100% sure on that. Table of hazardous substance name. It looks like this has one known hazardous substance inside of it. Awesome. You are exposing yourself to hazardous substances by owning this product. No big deal. California thinks everything causes cancer. Um, this is your quick start guide. Um... For your AC Wi-Fi adapter, um, this is uh, the first step they tell you to insert the CD to install this. So um, definitely something that you're going to need. Um, you could probably download it, the driver, but I'm assuming if you need a Wi-Fi adapter, something's going on with your download. So just be prepared to need to use a um, a uh, external CD DVD drive on a lot of the newer laptops because a lot of those newer laptops don't have built-in CD DVD drives. This came here with like a little like dock slash like USB extender hub thing. Um, basically, the point of this is to keep the Wi-Fi just a little bit like like closer to your router. Like you keep the Wi-Fi receiver plugged into here. You plug the cable into your desktop, and then this just sits on your desk and picks up your Wi-Fi. Um, let's see how long the cord is here. It looks like it's only like three feet. Yeah, so it is a USB 3.0 extender, which is cool, because you could probably use it to extend something else if you really didn't need it for your Wi-Fi adapter. I think I am going to use this with the way this is set up. I'm just really not sure how well otherwise this would fit into my USB port that I wanted to use this in. Um, but yeah, um, little like L-shaped docking adapter thing. And then the, the device itself, so it says stop exclamation point. Run the installation CD first. So I'm not gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer just yet. I am gonna go ahead and open this though for you guys, because I love you guys on YouTube. And this here, at first glance, it kind of just looks like every other USB Wi-Fi adapter, just like a USB stick, but this actually folds out like that. Aww. So you got some maximum antenna love here. You can plug this into your little Wi-Fi antenna base, 
and then bada bing, bada boom, you got this nifty little desktop Wi-Fi antenna. Kind of looks like one of those high-powered omnidirectional TV antennas that you see nowadays. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all she wrote, folks. You can kind of fold it different ways to see what gets you better reception. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna leave it like this or like this in the background of my desktop here and see what happens. Uh, hopefully I have better Wi-Fi performance and less drop-offs and shit, and I'll maybe do a follow-up video, let you guys know what I think later on. And if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But that's it for now. I will catch you guys later.